That's Jay-Z. That's Daniel. This is Rody. And this is Just My DIY. And dogs are naturally den animals. This is why we have crates for them. And to help the crate contain the den feeling, we like to have a cover. Yes, we've been using a beach towel to cover his crate since we got him, but it's time for an upgrade. To an actual crate cover. Yes. So we're going to go grab some fabric, the sewing machine, and a few other things and show you how we make a custom crate cover for Rody's crate. Let's do it. First, we start by measuring the crate all the way around, back to front, side to side, and up to down. And then we grab our fabric. You'll notice that I actually am going to use the selvage in this because that gives me one long piece to go from side to side. Now, when working with a pattern, it's very important to be exact and pay attention to where the pattern is laying. You'll see a few tricks I use throughout this on that point. But as you see, it goes tip to tip, including the selvage, so that pattern's nice and clean across the bulk of the crate. Now, I'm not the greatest at sewing, so a little trick that I like to use to keep all my seams straight is to use some heat and bond. Just lay it down and use an iron, or what I'm using here is a Cricut Mini, to fold in the sides. This is the selvage, and you'll see I'm folding it in half to give me all that width that I need on the fabric. I'll show you how I cover that up in a second. To get the pattern to line up, once I get the tops and side piece on, I pin the front and back fabric to the actual crate and mark where my top, sides, and bottom needs to be. This helps me keep that pattern right in line. Then back over to my self-healing cutting mat, which I love to use, and rotary cutter to get those perfectly straight cuts. So on this, we're gonna fold in all four sides of the front and back panels, and then add the double fold bias tape. Now this is not how you're supposed to sew the bias tape on, but it's an easy way and it works. So I pin it with some clips and then run both sides first, and then I do the bottom last folding the bias tape in on the corners. I'll give you a better shot of that in a second so you can see exactly how I make the corners very nice. But it's the two sides first and then the bottom. We're not doing the top because that will be sewn underneath the rest of the crate cover. And there you go, front and back panels. I do the same thing along the long piece that goes over the top and sides doing both of the long sides first, and then we'll show you how we do that fold on the corners here. So you open up your bias tape, see, open, fold down just a little bit, and then fold it back the way that it goes. That gives you a nice little pocket that you can tuck the corner into so you don't have any raw edges. So get that nice and tight. Look how pretty that is. Then pin that on. Clip the rest of it on. We're gonna leave that last corner open until we get the sewing done. And then while it's still in the machine, needle in the fabric, we're gonna do the fold there to make it nice and tight. And then finish that top stitch. So repeat on the other side. And then have a personal aide come in to help you pin everything in place. <laughs> yes. So I like to work on the actual thing I'm covering here. So we are pinning it in place with those clips. Going to cut two pieces of ribbon. This is because we like to keep the front of Rody's crate open most of the time. Then you'll see how I do a little bit of stitching here. Go a few inches, tuck one of the ribbons in, shiny side out. and then put the other ribbon in and go. Nice little crate cover with plenty of ventilation there so air can move. And now an easy crate pad. Pick material that our little roadie seems to like. 
and cut it to a general measurement of a pad that already fits in his crate. Mm -hmm. And your cuts don't have to be exact here as long as your stitches are straight. So we just do a nice little rough cut around leaving enough of a seam allowance, but don't really worry about how the cut itself looks. Just the mess afterwards. <laughs> so messy. We are pinning all of the edges so that she can run it through the machine easily. Mm -hmm. And we run it all the way around, leaving a small opening for us to turn the fabric right side out as well as stuff it here in a bit. And then we turn it right side out and grab some fill. Please note environmental fuzz alert. <laughs> it's kind of like it snowed inside. It never snows here. It really doesn't. So we get the fill in and you know, stick your arm in there, make sure it's all nice and even. We have a nice fluffy crepe pad and then just top stitch that little hole closed. And there you go. Let's see if he likes it. Crate. He does. Of course. Down. So if you liked what you saw, Go ahead and click that like button, the subscribe, ring the bell, leave us a nice comment down below, and also notice that we have a list of materials that we used. Absolutely, and if you're not watching this on our website, head over to JustMikeDIY.com for more. Thanks for watching.